Hello, my name is Anna Grace Christensen, and this is my vlog proctored assignment. And here is a photo of my ID for identification. And I took both the Survey of Chemistry 1 um, class and the lab that went with it. So this video will cover both classes. Um, for the first question, so what are a few things that I have learned in this class? On the Survey of Chemistry, just the regular class, one of the biggest things I learned was in the last few chapters about isotopes, radioactive isotopes, nuclear reactions, and types of radiation. So I've actually taken chemistry classes previously, and the in the course, we were not actually able to get to these topics. They were not like on our like final exams or AP exam, so we never got to get to those. So I found that like those topics actually really interesting. Um, and for the survey of chemistry lab, one of the things that I found most interesting was in the color lab that we did at the beginning um, with all of the different elements that were put on the edge of a Q-tip and then put in the Bunsen burner. And when we had to identify what color it was, that was actually really cool. I had never been able to do that. Um, so I found that really interesting. I'd seen it, but that was something that I learned. I didn't realize you could do that. Um, so for this second question, the challenges of online learning. So one of the biggest challenges for me is being able to balance a work and a school load. So with taking both the survey of chemistry and the lab that went with it, that was a big time commitment. Um, I do work a management position at my job. So I work about 35 to 40 hours a week and my schedule changes from week to week. So when it comes to figuring out due dates and when stuff needs to be done, that did present a little bit of a challenge just because um, I did have to balance work and school. Um, so the class, for question three, how the class prepared me for future. Um, so the class did help me a lot when it came to time management and making sure that I took it one step at a time and slowly completed topics. Um, it helped me with balancing um, work and school and figuring out like what times work best for me, working in the morning, making sure that I spaced stuff out and didn't procrastinate. And so then that prevented me from like overloading myself like the day before everything was due. Um, for the fourth question, things that I liked about the class. So for the survey of chemistry class, I really enjoyed the lectures. I found them really helpful. Um, I was able to fully understand any of the topics that I may not have understood from the book and any questions that I had were usually always answered when it came to um, the lectures. I also found them very funny and lighthearted and it just made them really enjoyable to watch and follow along and they were very helpful. Um, for the lab, one of the things that I found really helpful and what I really liked was the videos of the um, of the labs and being able to like watch those be done correctly and um, also when it came to finding like data and stuff I found it really interactive and I really enjoyed the assignments that we were given for the lab and the COVID lab I found really interesting being able to tie in current events going into our lab so I found that uh, I really liked that about the class. So for question five, one of the things that I didn't like, I don't really think there was anything I didn't enjoy about the class for the survey of chemistry. Um, I really enjoyed everything. I thought it was at a really good pace. Um, everything was explained really well and any questions that we had were always answered almost right away. For the lab, the same thing. Any questions that we had were answered right away. Um, maybe just include a few more labs would be the only thing that I could say. I really enjoyed doing labs when I was in chemistry, so I know that's hard doing it remotely, but I don't know if there's any way to include that. Um, so that also goes along with ways that I think the class could be improved. Starting off with the chemistry lab, possibly doing um, a few more lab videos or different lab assignments, just depending on availability and being able to do those it probably won't be able to I know it's probably better in person doing labs but um, that's just one thing that could be for the lab class and then for survey of chemistry I think one thing that can be improved is maybe adding in like one assignment per chapter just like a quick like summary of the chapter and an assignment to tie in the topics that we learned during the chapter and 
I'm a very like hands-on learner so that tends to help me is when I am able to like for the Lewis structures like I'm able to do an activity where I like draw Lewis structures or something that's given and graded and that could also possibly like boost people's grades as well um and for the last question how COVID affected me during this summer so I had to come home early from college so that was a big adjustment and then also taking online classes instead of in-person classes that was something that I wasn't expecting and I also had to work a lot more hours at my job just because um times people were needed for certain times and so my workload greatly increased but thank you for an awesome semester